to talk about weighing in static, first of all, uh, we'll be talking about scale. This is going to be with four pads. So what that means is the entire vehicle is going to be suspended on scale pads. Uh, accuracy is going to be within 1%, which is calibrated very easily, and you get a certification uh, uh, certificate with that. Uh, to show you how a static scaling system is set up, how easy it is to operate, here's a demo. Follow me. This would be the same as basically a five ton truck. Putting the pads under the center of the wheel, like so. The scales are numbered one, two, three, and four. So when they go into the module, you have to put the same pads in the same uh, outlets one, two, three, four. They have to match because when they're calibrated, they're calibrated for that specific outlet. So you can't mix them up, but no fear, they're all labeled. So the front is going to be one and two. The rear is going to be three and four. So we put a pad under first. This is sensor four. Stick it under this way. This is obviously a wired component. You can get wireless as well. Wireless, they're going to work for about 60 feet. that when you do scale you, you make sure that you don't you don't ever run over your sensor very important thing so make sure your tires are here or further this way if you're using dualies like on a five ton truck for example they can hang over a little bit it'll still give you an accurate weight but just make sure you don't go over the sensor otherwise you'll need to get it repaired just gonna get this one set up on this side now Underneath the pads, there's a slot to put the cables. So when you drive over, you won't crush them. You want to make sure you get the cables underneath the pads, like so. This is from uh, sensor four that I threw it under. longer cable and one shorter cable. Of course the longer cable is on that side because the box is on this side. You want to have all your plug-ins plugged in before you turn it on. So I'm powering off right now. Battery life lasts approximately 24 hours of usage. So you only have to charge it probably once every you know month or so, give or take. And sensor number four goes into, of course, sensor number four. Sensor number three goes into sensor number three, sensor number two, and sensor number one. Okay, that's done now. So now we power up. You hit your power button first, 
Give it a couple seconds. Get in there. Now we're gonna hit the on button. This also has a USB port so you can uh, export an unlimited amount of uh, data. It keeps all your scales for like literally years, thousands of scales. Comes with a charger, which is right inside this box here. Plug just into your wall. Away you go. Very easy to use. This is Windows operated, so you use a stylus pen. So she's booted up. There's your printer here. And we are waiting static full truck. And you press, sometimes these numbers are a little off, depending on if your scales have been bumped or not. So always set it to zero first. Then you simply drive onto the platforms. Okay, so back to the screen now. We have uh, wheel one, wheel one, wheel two on axle one. That's axle one over there, wheel one, wheel two. So it gives you actually individual weights. Mark a stand on scale number, what number is this? Number one. Okay, Mark's is gonna stand on scale number one. You'll see the weight is going to shift, so stand on it. Okay, now jump off. He don't weigh much. Okay, so next we hit the weighing button. You don't need to use a styling pen, a stylus pen. Weighing. Now it's got your static weight. Print ticket. Here she comes. Folks, it's that easy. Zoom in on that. So you got wheel one, wheel two, total of axle one, 1390 kg. Wheel three, wheel four, axle two, total, 1450 kg. Total weight, 2840 kg. This is going to be within 1%. There's your date and time. You can put client's name, registration number, so on and so forth. There's all kinds of things you can fill out. If you look back up here, there's a truck ID number, another area that you can fill in with whatever you want, so on and so forth. Um, Don. You can enter names in there, so on and so forth. Truck ID 209. Enter. Lots of information that you can fill out. So, with a tractor trailer, if you wanted to weigh static on this, you would need six pads total. Sorry, a little bit of a hot day. Six pads total. So, you would have. Two, four pads set at the rear end of your tractor where you have two axles and then you would also have two more pads where the jacks are. So then what you would do is have this all hooked up and in motion in static, drive your two back axles onto the scales, then you would lower your jacks, disconnect your truck from your truck from the uh, uh, tractor unit, your trailer from the tractor unit itself, and that would give you a static weight, and that's going to be accurate within 1%. These are calibrated for 10,000 kilograms at 10 kilograms either way, up or down, so that, that is your 1%. And I just had this one recently calibrated about a week ago. Um, in motion I was going to ask if there's any questions, but my audience is going to draw it, so you have to ask them later. Uh, that's it for static weight. Uh, we'll leave here. Okay.